Welcome back to our channel, Living in Prescott. And on today's episode, we are going to cover, what are we going to cover, Sean? Things to do when you're visiting. Maybe you're checking out the area to decide if you want to move here. Maybe you recently moved here. or Maybe you've been here forever and you're just looking for something fun to do. Stick around because this top list is going to be pretty awesome. So we're going to kick off our top five list of things to do with a trip down to Whiskey Row. Uh, Whiskey Row is probably one of the most famous spots to hit in the Prescott area. It's full of uh, old time saloons and uh, we're going to pop into one of our favorites, the Palace. Uh, the Palace is named one of the top 10 um, historic bars in America. And uh, everything from the attire of the staff, you know, uh, from the 1800s to uh, artifacts that remain um, in the bar, you know, from when the bar was first built. And uh, you'll you'll hear some of the old relics right here: old shot glasses, whiskey, whiskey bottles, the gambling. Uh, they've even got some money from and uh, chips from the 1800s. Here's a some uh, portraits from some of the characters that used to frequent the bar, Wyatt Earp, and the cocktails and martinis are not bad either. So check out Whiskey Row when you're in Prescott. Maybe you're in the area and you have little ones in your family or visiting from out of state and you're looking for something fun for them to do. Why not check out Park Collective? It's an indoor playground for kids. So if it's snowing or it's warm outside or raining, it's a great place. For the adults, there is a coffee shop plus coffee and uh, their coffee is actually really good. So check it out. If you have little ones, little tots, toddlers, a year to two years old, they even have a little tot area. It is located in Prescott Valley off of Pav Way and Lake Valley Road. Our next item on the list is for our nature lovers. There are some great areas in our local region to do bird watching and get out and enjoy nature. You can go down to one of the five lakes in the area. You could head out Perkinsville Road and out near Perkinsville Ranch and check out like we did here. There are so many different beautiful breeds and species of birds in our area, especially at some of our local lakes. As you see here, our kiddos are enjoying interacting uh, from a distance, of course, some of the ducks that are residents of the Goldwater Lake area. But you can check out Watson Lake, you can see like the stork that was there. So many different cool things to see. Something else to do in the area is head out and hit one of the trails for a mountain bike ride. And Sean will share some more info with us. Here we are, it's a beautiful February day. Blue skies, just awesome. Going for a little ride with my little man. So whether you're an avid mountain biker or just a beginner like this little guy, the Prescott area has trails of all skill levels. Um, here we are in the pea vine, and the pea vine is relatively flat, um, wide, you know, for an entire family to ride and allow others to pass you by. And it's uh, situated on the backside of Watson Lake, so it's super scenic. There's some areas where you get into the canyons, um, and then you've got amazing vistas like this. Almost forgot to mention the bike trails in some cases are dog friendly. Our dog loves bike runs and the pea vine, which we mentioned is a trail definitely to check out if you're in the area located right behind Watson Lake. So here it is. You stuck around. Here's our number one thing to do when you're in the area. Go check out the guys at Mile High Off-Road in Prescott Valley and rent a Jeep or side-by-side. -side. What better way to explore a million and a quarter acres of Prescott National Forest than seeing it off-road. It'll allow you to cover a lot more ground. You'll be able to get way up into the backcountry. You can rent 
these guys for a half day or a full day um, or even an entire weekend. So it's a ton of fun. Just make sure that you have GPS with you. You've got all your provisions, pack lunches. Here, this was one of our trips up to Palace Station, which is about 12 miles uh, up into the mountains above Costco. And uh, we just had a great old time. If heading up into the forest uh, freaks you out because you're scared of lions and tigers and bears, oh my, then maybe heading up to state land might be a little more your speed. Um, many people don't know, but we have uh, state land areas all around the Prescott and Prescott Valley area. This is different than National Forest, and um, you can actually access state land. Just remember to close the gate behind you or leave gates as you have found them, and um, you're off to explore. You can, you can actually rent your side-by-side -side in town, head out to state land, and go as far as Williams to the north of us, um, which is you know a full day trip, and then back. Another fun trip is to pick up your side-by-side -side in Crescent Valley, head up on the backside of Mingus Mountain to the old mining town of Jerome. You could stop and have lunch and then reverse back down the same way you came and that makes for a super fun day trip. Oh, Well, that concludes today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to chat. Thanks for watching.